guys and welcome back. I'm Carrie Penny, the Happy Crafty Homemaker, and I'd like to take a second just to thank all of my new subscribers for joining me here. Um, there have been quite a few of you guys in the last couple weeks. Um, at the time of filming, I am 13 subscribers away from another giveaway and I haven't ended the previous one yet. So kind of excited. <laughs> a little overwhelmed. Um, to be honest, when I started my channel in August, I was pretty sure I would probably never hit 100 subscribers. And now I'm looking at almost 400 subscribers. So I want to thank you guys for joining me and thank you guys for subscribing and welcome all the new subscribers who have come to my channel over the last couple weeks. Cheers. We got some diet ginger ale today. My tummy's a little, um, I've had to take some painkillers today and, uh, yeah, I don't like taking pain pills. They don't, they don't like me back much either. And it's like the double weird whammy. The ginger ale's great, but I don't drink a whole lot of sugary sodas. So it's not like aspartame is really good for you either. Or really good for your tummy, so it's kind of confusing. Anywho, I have a lot of stuff to talk about, and I'm probably going to have to film or pause the recordings, like, randomly as I, like, regather my thoughts and everything. Um, I keep joking with a lot of the other YouTubers and my friends. I've had a lot of pudding brain recently. Um, I can't keep my thoughts going. Uh, been very tired. I went from being sick to not sleeping. So yeah. And now my back's all messed up. So yay. Um, I, I, once again, my life is a walking blonde joke. I can't, I'm not creative enough to come up with half the random stuff that happens to me. So yeah. So I'm gonna do something a little different. Um, we're gonna talk about gifts first. Um, so sometime in the next two or three days, I'm, I'm filming a whole bunch of videos, like all together in like two days. Um, uh, just because I have a lot of stuff to share with you guys and they all kind of belong in their own videos. Um, one of them is an unboxing of a swap that I did with Melanie over at Stitch to My Lou. I have already unboxed everything. I have filmed it and I got spoiled. But she is not the only sweetheart to send me something. Christy Cook over at T Doddles told her subscribers to uh, send her their mailing address if they wanted to get a valentine from her. And I'm thinking, you know, a card, a little you know, sweet thing. Like, that's fine. Like, that's all I was kind of expecting. Now, I'm not saying this is a huge gift. It's not. But it's so sweet. So, it doesn't... I didn't need to do an unboxing for this. But I did want to share with you guys. Because it's such a, like... This is a perfect carry gift. And I about died laughing when I unboxed it. So, we have a little sucker here. A sucker for the sucker. A fat quarter. And none of you guys know I love floral fabrics and it's because I can't grow anything to save my life. So I have to do uh, silk flowers, floral fabrics, things like that to uh, keep the floral going. Ideally I would learn how to garden and not kill everything I touch and my entire house inside and out would be covered in living plants but I literally kill everything I touch. We have some stitch markers. Ooh. Really can't catch the light right here. Aren't those sweet? She's got her stamp on the back. Post-its. Because once again, I'm the queen of post-its. I kind of want to color this little girl. How adorable is she? 
Lemon ginger tea, which I'm constantly talking about on this channel, is one of my favorite teas. And I died laughing because it's in a tiny little page protector. And I also love page protectors. Because they're good for everything. Ooh. And then, oop. This has been like on my desk now for two days because I've been, oh, look. Of course, my stick is starting to wear off, but there's a front of the card. I love the little ribbons. I actually had a bunch of this ribbon and I think I finally used all of it. Took forever. And then look at just all the little details. Just so sweet. So yes, I got, a, I got my little Valentine's package and I thought that was very sweet. So I wanted to make sure I thanked you. Thank you so much. You and Melanie just absolutely spoiled me rotten. <laughs> it's exciting. Um, and they aren't the only ones to spoil me. I spoiled myself. Um, knit two together, I think is the, uh, Oh, my other back had a tag on it. I think it's Sue. Ooh. Her name starts with a T. And I think it's knit two together. I swear my other. And I finally hung my other bag up. Anyway. Back when she did her Christmas bags on. Well, I see her on Instagram. I know to go to her shop. But her Etsy shop. She had this in her Christmas bags. And I literally searched everywhere for the fabric because I just love that fabric. And I kind of want like half a bolt of it because how adorable. <clears throat> love me some retro. Love me some retro cocktails. And we're putting it in a bag. Um, But anyway, she was running a huge sale. So I actually grabbed two of her bags because these are just such cute fabrics. I mean, come on. And, you know, one of my goals this year was to do six pairs of socks. So I wanted to make sure that I had socks, socks, projects, sock projects ready to go. Um, I wanted to test out the Haya Haya Sharps because I keep hearing how great those are from some people. Um, my Addy Sock Rockets are perfectly fine for magic looping socks. I'm having no problem with that. Um... All right, I'm going to try to scooch y'all in because this late day light coming in. There we go. It's making everything like super shiny and super diffused and super weird. And it keeps making me think that I'm out of focus, which is not very good because then you can't see the cool things I'm showing you. Anyway, so one that I put in here, this is Beyond the Wall Felici. From knit picks. So that'll be one set of socks. And that's in my hedgehog bag ready. Oh, there's a tag. There it is. Yeah, knit two together. That's right. A leather tag. I was like, I know there's a tag on here somewhere. There's the other one. It just blended in, I swear. This is what I mean by putting brain. Anyway. And then this one is Peyton's Croy sock effects in cascade colors very very pretty so i will do socks out of those i also have my christmas socks that never got finished still need to turn the heel on those um those are sitting in a bag downstairs i actually had meant to start those and then something happened and I ended up doing hats instead. So anyway, those are my acquisitions. <clears throat> oh, one more acquisition. And this kind of will lead directly into finished objects and yarn bingo. But um, I had to order some things from Premiere the other day. I finally decided on what I'm going to use to make my frost shawl by Hannah over the Cozy Cottage Crochet. And in order to get free shipping, I decided to grab a mystery bag. I got a, another three skeins of um, candy shop. 
Uh, this time, it's not nerds, but it's, um, oh my goodness, you guys, I swear. Anyway, I got that and I got this. And um, this is the Go Team in Blue Friday. So I've actually uh, just went ahead and threw this in the basket with my Day Glow Yellow yarn. Um, so I decided to start working on hats for Billy. Um, actually, I started them a couple days ago with the scraps that I had sitting there. Um, so I've used one skein of the day glow and one like partial skein of premiere every day in the black that I had. I'm still waiting on, I ordered some black Vanna's choice because I have an order for hats and I've gotten everything but that. I ordered six balls of Vanna. I am out of Vanna's choice and... After I finished my last hat with this, I had um, two partial balls of the Premier Everyday in black. I am out of super soft black. I have a couple things of Red Heart in black. And I have a couple of balls. I think it's Nitpicks. Worsted weight acrylic in black. And then I'm out of black yarn. Uh, last year I had a hard time keeping up with gray yarn. So I bought a whole bunch from Hershner's. Now I'm running out of black. So anyway, I got the yarn to do my frost shawl. Threw in a mystery bag. I had a couple other things that I wanted to grab for projects that I have in mind. Um, that are gifts and that I didn't have any other option for in order to make the gifts. So to get my free shipping, I did get a mystery bag. So I will do some more. I'm not sure if I'm going to do this kind of hat or not. I really love these hats. Um, I used the Daniel pattern, Daniel pattern, Danielle pattern for this hat. And I mean, it's directly as the pattern states it to be for the next to the largest size, 36 rounds. Um, I did get a picture of Tater Tot. I posted that on my Instagram of him wearing this hat. Um, he's got a fairly round head for his age. And the hats for Billy right now, she was, um, well, she already hit her 60, but, um, she was looking for kindergarten and first graders. Um, he's about, to, he's four and a half. He'll be five in November. So I went ahead and used this, sized it on his head. That fit perfectly. But because it fit just perfectly, I did another one. Uh, I noticed it seemed to be a little bit short this way. So this one, instead of following the pattern, I still use the 36 rows, which just for the record, that turned out perfect. So we go two sets, two, three, and four sets in the yellow. I'm trying to get as much as I can out of the black, and it still needed a little bit black to bring it back down just a little bit. Um, this is so much fun, and I love the yellow. I mean, you're going to have some of the safest kids in the world. Anyway, I, I did 41 singles, so, or, or 41 chains, so 40 half double crochets for the crown to the brim. So I got these two hats done, and I'm going to use this for a couple hats. That'll be probably four hats at least out of this go team. So I'm kind of excited about that. I finished my color, color tip diagonal scarf using the dark chocolate candy shop yarn. And I, like I said, I love the way this yarn blends and it's so squishy and soft for acrylic. And like I said in the previous uh, video when I was talking about my ginormous barley hat, um, it's not a very sweaty yarn, which, like I said, wouldn't make sense if you don't live in a really humid climate. But very excited about that. Finished 
two different barley hats in kid sizes. So these are kindergarten size hats. I did get uh, Tater Tot to try these on too. Um, let's see. There is a size difference that I followed the exact same stitches, but I forgot to change my needle. So <laughs> you can see how much difference there is when you, uh, forget to change up to your size eight needle. That's the, <laughs> anyway, that happens. That was Saturday night. I got totally wrapped up doing the Zoom chat with the uh, everybody else, so. Okay, sarah, sarah, but that's two more hats for Billy. Um, I have a couple of hats that I have set aside that are adult sizes um, that I'm also going to be sending her. But I might go ahead and send the ones I have now. I might wait a day or two. I'm not sure. And by the way, if you're not familiar with who Billy is, she is the Crafty Floridian here on YouTube. Uh, I've mentioned it before, and I know a lot of other YouTubers, um, most of my viewers are crocheters, and most of them have heard, you know, Billy and her hat drive because, you know, you watch people like Debbie and Debbie and Summer and Gypsy. Actually, I'm not sure. Has Gypsy mentioned it? Anyway. Whee! I'm actually not doing that bad. I'm kind of surprised. I haven't just like totally lost my mind in the middle of this video yet. I was in the middle of trying to talk to my husband on the phone earlier today and I just, it was like somebody ran a magnet over my brain and I just totally lost what I was saying mid-sentence. This is my last finished object. Um, I'm doing the Unraveled Mitten Stash Busting Cowl. And I actually had no problem with this one. This is the Diagonal Bobble. The new pattern was released today. I will not be doing stripes for that one. I will do a solid. I've got four colors of yarn and I'm going to try to keep all my blocks solid. But um, I had no problem with this. My biggest issue was trying to get this up to a size where I could at least block it out to 12 inches. It's still a little bit small, but I think that's going to block out just fine. Uh, it's got so much single crochet, it's making it pull in real hard. But yeah, so I've got two blocks now for that done. Really enjoying it. Love me some samplers, so not a big surprise that I'm loving it. So we got all that. I've got a special video for the swap I did with Melanie. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, yeah. It's kind of amazing. I've got two whips going that I've been actively working on the last two days. Um, well, one I've been working on for a week, one I've been working on since yesterday. Excuse me. Carbonation in the ginger ale. Um, not all of you watch my yarn subscription box videos, but I did want to share this is what I'm working on from the Jimmy Bean Knit Club. I really like the pattern. Once again, Carrie likes samplers. Um, but as I stated in that video, I ran out of yarn before I could finish the clue. So I'm actually like in the middle of the last row of this pattern. And then I have one more pattern left to go that also calls for the white. And I ran out of yarn. So... That's been sitting here waiting for the new box to get here. Luckily enough, it appears that we will only be using those three yarns because I did just do that unboxing. So I will use the yarn from February's box to finish this out. Um, I don't know if anybody else had that issue. 
I was actually a little bit under gauge when I measured. So I'm kind of surprised. The other one I'm working on is in, it's ended up being inspired by the Crafty Jackalope pattern just because I kind of got bored knitting in the round. Um, but I'm using the Premiere Every Day in purple and that carry along with the sequins to make a hat that's still downstairs. But I did want to talk to you about Llama Mama's February Yarn Bingo. Because I started that hat, I officially have my first bingo. And yes, I do have projects listed down here that I already know I'm making or I'm in the process of making. Um, but I'm not to the point of putting it all together. But because I've been doing hats for Billy and because I've been doing dishcloths and because I've been doing the unraveled mitten sampler and this sampler, I have a lot of different ways to get yarn bingo. Um, so I'm going to inadvertently be going for the blackout because I have some red set aside to do little hats, big hearts, or yes, little hats, big hearts, hats. So that'll give me something for baby. Um, one of my projects for March is going to be the frost shawl. Just got the yarn for that. So I'll be able to start that by the end of the month. I am, I already have this project started here. This is a shawl for myself out of Scarfy, but it's the black and garnet. So that'll give me something red. I still haven't marked this one out, Creed of Valentine, but I made a heart for my husband. I haven't decided where I'm going to hide it yet though. I might hide it. To, I might pin it to his bathrobe. Um, yeah, so... I've got two more finish of whips that aren't listed in other patterns. Um, something in your favorite color. I actually know what that's going to be. I have a leftover ball of the hopscotch still, and I'm probably going to do another barley hat for kids out of that one. So yeah, I'm making a lot of progress. I'm, I need to sit down and do a photo collage of all my projects, or if Kayla gives me permission, I might just sit down and film a video at the end of the month and go through everything I did. Cause it's getting to the point. There's a lot. Anyway, I did want to mention that real quick. I've been, uh, you know, when I don't feel well, I either sleep or I craft. So there's, there's been a lot of that over the last couple weeks. And um, we're already starting pollen season here too, which isn't helping much with my head because I'm having to take more antihistamines. So, um, yeah, that's not helping with pudding brain whatsoever. Um, so, yeah, it's been a lot of crafting and a lot of sitting. So, that's everything. I managed to keep this under half an hour, you guys. I'm so proud of myself. I was like afraid this was going to take like 40 minutes. Probably I could only understand about a third of what I said because I'm probably talking too fast, but we got there. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I keep thinking I ought to say something else, but I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm not sure in what order all these videos are going to get posted in, except for my unboxing for Melanie will be posted tomorrow. Yeah. I'm not anticipating anything crafty anytime soon. I'm not expecting anything um, out of the ordinary. So I'm kind of kind of excited. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Happy crafting. And I will see you guys real soon. Bye.